So there's a variety of stuff in this episode. I'll put timestamps in the description and I'll just let you know right now that there's a Dutch bucket tomato time lapse at the end. Enjoy. Welcome back to Who Chose. And have I got a rarity for you. A success story. So today I'm gonna to take you through and we're gonna harvest all the Dutch bucket tomatoes that are ripe at the moment. Uh, also, we're gonna go back in time and do a previous harvest uh, because I've been harvesting them as I eat them. And that's the way produce works. And because I hadn't planned anything, I didn't weigh them. So I won't be able to give you a weight on the first harvest. And towards the end of the video, we're actually going to train the tomatoes. We're gonna to drop the strings down because the tops are getting too tall and the bottoms are going to be pretty much free of tomatoes. And we'll move them around the greenhouse so that we have more head height for the tomato plants. I'm also going to talk to you about a new system that I'll be putting uh, where the hooch buckets are at the moment and I need your input on what to do about the system. I'm tossing up between two system ideas and I want to give you the power to choose what you want to see on hoochos. Let's get to harvesting 12 days ago. So this video will probably take place over a couple of days. I really want to harvest some of these tomatoes so I can eat them. That is a nice tomato. Yum. Ah. Oh, see that's split again. See, I might be leaving that a little bit too long. Mm. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm such a proud daddy. <laughs> they are nice. They're gonna be delicious. Look at that haul. And there's heaps more to go. Now this next part was filmed last night because we needed the tomatoes. All right, so it's actually the night before I make the harvest video, but we really need tomatoes and I'm not gonna not use the tomatoes uh, while they're here. So I'm just gonna weigh these ones quickly. Almost two kilograms. So for the Americans, 68.5 ounces. <laughs> All right, let's pick them. So you know that when you upgrade from a bowl to a bucket, you're having a good time. <laughs> All right, let's weigh it then. It's overloading the scales. All right, we're gonna have to do this a different way. <laughs> human scales. So this is definitely going to be less accurate. 10.1 <laughs> kilograms. Holy moly. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. So this bucket weighs about 300 grams. Uh, we can probably take 300 grams off that. 10 kilos. <laughs> oh, I am super happy with this. This is probably the most success I've had in gardening, like hydroponics, soil, whatever, just in gardening in general. This is 10 kilos of tomatoes and that's not even counting yesterday's tomatoes, which was another two kilos. So, and then the first lot of tomatoes, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> this is happy hydroponicking. <laughs> All right, so now, now that we've got our 10 kilos of tomatoes, uh, I'm just gonna go and clean up all of uh, the places where the tomatoes were growing, and then we can drop them down. All right, so as you can see, this one I dropped down probably a week ago or so. I just wanted to try out, see how these spindles worked and that one had the least tomatoes on it. And I didn't want to drop the tomatoes down with a ton of weight on them. Uh, not that I don't think I could handle it. It's just, I want to be as careful as possible because I've not started with the spindles. I actually started with uh, the jute twine. I'm actually going to remove the jute twine off of all the tomatoes and move over to these uh, poly spindles. I'm going to use the spindles 
to lower the tomato plants and move them across one. I'll eventually be able to move these all the way around the greenhouse until it gets you know ridiculous. I'm not really sure how long you should keep indeterminate tomatoes growing, um, but we'll find that out, I guess. I'm going to hold on to polyline and cut the jute twine. Look at that. So I'm holding that whole tomato plant right now. Uh, that would have been a ton heavier with all that fruit on it. So that's, this is why I wanted to remove the fruit before I go and drop these plants down. So to drop it down, uh, all I'm gonna do is spin this spindle because it's wrapped around it, move it across and then hang it over this wire. And our tomato plant's now dropped. While I'm up here, I'm gonna support the tomato plant by just tying it to that poly line. Like that. And that's given it more headroom to grow. So I'll move along and do the same with this tomato. I'm now holding See, this tomato is overgrown by heaps. So uh, I really need to drop that down. And we can tie that to the string as well. I really like this system. It's working very well. I don't want to speak too soon. So now I've got a close up. I'll try and show you what I'm trying to achieve. Cutting off the jute twine, and then I'm just unhooking the plant, unwinding it, and then hooking it back up like that. Much better. That is way neater and I'm much happier with the state of the tomatoes. As you can see, all of the plants have shuffled along one section. The defoliation at the bottom has allowed the stems to be used sort of like a highway for nutrients, if you will, um, coming from the bucket and traveling over to the plant and up uh, without you know, causing excess humidity at the bucket level. So I'll continue to do this as long as they're healthy plants and I'll just keep shuffling them one along. Obviously, I'll run out of room at the end of the greenhouse, but that's where the next system comes into play. So I haven't removed any of the suckers from these plants just yet, and that's for one important reason. I wanna make clones, and I wanna make clones for another tomato system. Now, this is where you come into it. I need you to tell me what you guys wanna see on the channel. I'm tossing up between a traditional Dutch bucket system with 20 litre buckets rather than these free containers that I sourced. Or do you want to see a rain gutter grow system set up in the same manner as the Dutch bucket system here with the wire trellising uh, with a combination of hooch buckets? And if I do make that system, I may even design a specific tomato bucket for it. So let me know what you want to see. Uh, another Dutch bucket system made with traditional 20 litre buckets or rain gutter grow system integrated with either new 3D pots or the hooch adapter system growing tomatoes in a system like this. Let me know in the comments, like the video if you like the video and thanks for watching. Finally a success, a real happy hydroponicking. <laughs> See you next time.